Irregular migration, locally known as backway, is the process of getting into other countries without the required documents. This is a rampant act in the African countries and the Gambia is not an exception. Many young boys and girls get into this journey to get greener pastures in the European countries. However, many lose their lives before reaching their destinations while others are maltreated. The government of the Gambia, in collaboration with the IOM, launched the Global Compact for Migration in September 2016 to articulate the country's position on migration issues in a manner that responds to the importance of migration issues to the Gambia's drive to attain sustainable development. Dauda LCC, permanent secretary at the office of the vice president, advises youth to work and earn a living in their own countries. The government of Uganda recognizes the importance of migration as one of the key tools for ensuring an improvement in the lives of Gambians. The government is very much aware of and is very actively following up on the dire situation for young men and women that are exposed to their attempt to migrate irregularly. The best option for our youth is to live and work here in their own country. And the government is committed to undertake all necessary actions to create the enabling environment for adequate job creation. The government also committed to ensuring that our Gambian diaspora communities living abroad find opportunities to invest in their own country and contribute to their country's development. Fumiko Nagano is the chief of mission IOM while assuring their support to the government highlighted some of the objectives. When migrants, including Gambians returning from abroad, are being linked to the origin and spread of the virus based on race, nationality or skin color, the GCM 17th objective firmly reminds us that we should combat all forms of stigma and discrimination against migrants. When Gambian children are crossing the border from Senegal at the height of the pandemic, the GCM seventh objective reminds us that their protection and best interest should be our number one priority. As the pandemic's socioeconomic impact <coughs> leaves many vulnerable to exploitation, the GCM's ninth and tenth objectives remind us of our commitment to combat human smuggling and trafficking. When our Gambian migrants abroad are excluded from accessing quality health care due to their migratory status, the GCM's 15th objective reminds us of every nation's obligation to provide basic services to migrants regardless of status to, quote unquote, ensure the delivery of basic social services, including healthcare, education, housing, and social protection. Global Compact for Migration is the first developed comprehensive frameworks on migration through intergovernmental negotiations in the United Nations. Part of the Gambia's support programs of the government is the Youth Empowerment Project, a campaign that is set up to change perceptions regarding irregular migration and creating job opportunities for the youth. Reporting for Paradise TV News, our terrain.